But you got him, but I'm dead serious. I know man. you got this guy. Clap on. All right, so and I'm he's clapping going. cheeks, right? You, you are giving up. <laughs> you are giving up your sexuality to a man that you really don't even want a true commitment from. You're 27 years old, right? You already got three kids, so it's like ah, real laughing. shit. And she's laughing. I'm about to get mad, bro. bro at the end of the day, I don't play that shit. Like I really don't. She like I'm laughing. disrespecting. We laughing yeah, at because I feel like y'all disrespecting me now. We're not laughing. We're not laughing. At you. We're laughing at what he's saying for the simple That's fact still that a few minutes later. My page look, is gonna be blocked. Look, it's my page up. is gonna be look, blocked. Look, What's look, up? Look, What's look, up? Because you're a liar. Because you're a liar. Back up. Because you're a liar. Back up. Back up. Look. See, yeah, the cops gonna see that. Out of here. I didn't put my hand on you. I grabbed your phone. I grabbed your phone. I grabbed your phone. You mad? You mad because you tried to fuck me? Don't touch me. And the little piggies did in fact come to get her. A few moments later. Go ahead, you talk first. Can you go talk to them out there? No. Yes. Go talk to them out there. Why? I was because inviting you. to leave. It doesn't matter I if you're inviting you. Well, now they're asking you to leave. Looks like there's only one place you go in, you little muppets. You go on a jail. You go on a jail. This is my Woodmiser LT40 wide hydraulic sawmill that I use daily to cut lumber and slabs that we sell here at our shop. Hmm. Well, this is my Kasori Turbo Blaze six quart air fryer, and I use it nightly to heat up chicken nuggets for my kids. <laughs> she stands like this in every video, even when she's trimming her bush. What do you mean by that? I don't always trim my bush. I beg your pardon? But when I do, I use my steel MSA 60. This is a Thunder Nova 51 laser. Did you know, on average, it takes one year per inch to air dry lumber. This is a tote of firewood. These are sycamore logs. This entire pile of logs is monkey pod. This is a pecan log. Do you call it a pecan, a pecan, or a pecan? Check this out. This is a tote of firewood. There should be mandatory DNA testing at birth. No. I don't know why you, okay. Because I, it's pr calling my wife a whore to do that. I mean, it's ridiculous. Why? Why? Okay, so because women... the, the assumption of the, of the, first of all, mandatory, good grief, but the, the uh, premise of it is that my wife is sleeping around. Okay, so, so I'm the, quite wo confident the my woman, wife is not sleeping the woman, around. The woman feels icky for a little bit, but then... The man you know, feels but, it. I but, would feel but, quite but, icky. Wait, wait. The woman feels icky for a little bit. Fine, maybe the man feels icky. Certainly he would. You're but, calling his but, wife a whore but, and him it a prevents, yeah. it prevents men from being put on child support and raising kids that aren't theirs. You're saying they're And married. if people want to opt out of it, fine. Fine, you can opt okay. out. You so it's not whatever. mandatory. But it's a, it's voluntary. But there it is voluntary. Uh, I, I I I think it would be better if it was mandatory. I think that's a better. So then the men can opt out. Oh my gosh, what are you? Are... If you're with a woman that makes you feel that you need to get a DNA test when your child's born, and you're not with the right woman, and you probably knew deep down that you should have never had a baby with that woman. Bullshit. You find it tough to date? Very, very. But I'm also not trying. I've been a serial monogamist for a while. I got out of a long term long ish term relationship a few months ago but yeah it's difficult it's difficult but i also haven't tried but i'm i i don't i don't know what i'm expecting i haven't gone into the dating world in maybe six years i've been in long-term relationships she tried to get married twice and failed twice I, I don't even know how she managed to get anybody to propose to be honest no man in his right mind is going to settle with a porn star you got to be you got to have some sort of issue like Adam 22. Dream guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? <laughs> my other victim type, thanks for asking, is bald babes. And I don't got to ask where they are because they're, they're always reflecting. <laughs> Bobby, I noticed you when I came in. There was a big glare and I was like, what is that? And your, your Bobby friend behind you. We got two for one at this table. Three, where's the third one? He's at, oh. No, you don't know what's under his hat. What's under your hat, bro? He's got hair. He's getting there though, give him a few years. Okay, but all I'm saying is you should see life from a woman's perspective. It's tough, you know. What are you doing? Seeing it from a woman's perspective, and I looking out of a kitchen window. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Can I have you turn around for a second? A man who gives true meaning to the word redneck. Can you get up and turn around? There's the real meaning of a dumb bitch. <laughs>
He cold. I'm quite literally rolling around in horse shit, trying to get, trying to get this this bottom thing off my car. Mm, I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna cry. I'm trying to get this off, and they need a, they need a screwdriver. And they and I just, I just wish someone would, would pull over and help me because I don't know what to do. Oh, someone just pulled over no way. Thank you so much. I, I gotta say it, guys. This woman's reaction is how most independent women would react. You know, she might have got a little further if she'd have stopped recording herself crying for TikTok. We're living in a generation now where people pull out their phone to film themselves crying instead of pulling out their phone to look up what to do. You've got so much information on your phone and you use it for shitty TikToks. Five million blind people in the world right now. Let's make that zero. We're talking about genocide in the salad in the morning. Love it. Let's do it. They'll never see us coming. <laughs> what do you look for in a man? Confidence. Me that. Yeah, you that. Nice smile. Me that. Yeah. Lux. Oh. Yeah, Lux. Love them. I actually do love them. Thanks. You have really nice teeth too. Good, because enough people here and I brush them teeth. I like how your teeth just white. <laughs> I don't know if it's a London thing. I've seen a lot of yellow teeth since I've been here. Really? Young. But yeah, but your teeth, them just perfect. You know, me, I see myself in your teeth, them right now. <laughs> people have been asking for me to go on this show, but the way he's got her smiling and giggling, I don't think she'll be back. Because you know what they say. If you can make a girl laugh and giggle, <laughs> you can make that ass clap and jiggle. Indeed. Daily reminder, if you're not sleeping with multiple women, you're not missing out, bro. Papi, most men has FOMO because of this motherfucking society where you are judged based on your body count. Basically, the more bodies you have, the more powerful you are, the more alpha you are, the more respect you get. Yeah, and it can also mean the more STDs you've got and the more child support you've got to pay. I think it's a much bigger flex having one good quality woman than it is having five hoes. Bro, this is all bullshit, motherfucker. Motherf be even lying about their body counts because they want to be accepted in this society. Oh yeah, I got 20, bitch! You only got two, you know that shit, boy. Papi, the reality is that ego and society is f***ing killing you as a man, bro. You're wasting time, money, effort, and a good girl just because you want to f*** to fit in? Hey, why are you just sitting in a chair like that with your legs clocked open like that? That's our demo, dog. Expo. Never wasted a man's time. Yeah. What's the longest time you've wasted? Six months. Well, you must be very proud of yourself. That nigga's gotta let the hoes be hoes, man. If that girl wanna go be a ho, you let her go be a ho. Just don't take the whole back after she finish. But if she wanna be a ho, then don't try and save her. Let her do what she does best and leave her where she belongs. She belongs to the streets.